Hey everybody, welcome to System Test 38. So the theme for today's test is going to be a university residence hall system simulation. So of the three residence halls that are on my engineering school's campus, all three of them have the uh, system you're about to see here installed. Uh, two are 13 story buildings and one is a five story building. Uh, the two 13-story buildings were built in 1965 and 1967, and the five-story building was built in 1990, and the little buildings actually added on to one of the bigger buildings. And uh, I'm assuming then that when the, uh, the smaller building was added on in 1990, that's when this system was installed. In reality, it's run by uh, Notifier System 500, but obviously it'll be run by the SXLEX today. Uh, I do not actually live in either of those buildings. I actually live in a uh, on-campus apartment building residence hall thing um, that was built in 2014 and has a uh, Siemens Cerberus uh, Firefinder uh, XLS and its voice vac and obviously that's a little bit too complicated for me to simulate here but um, I work with the uh, residence hall association so I'm over in the other uh, residence halls very frequently and get to see them. You know, I, I don't even know what you would consider the building I live in. It's it's not really an apartment building. It's not really a residence hall. It was a uh, like a hotel that they were building, and the hotel went out of business. So then the university bought it, and so it's it's like hotel room layout. So it's not really an apartment building. It's not really dorm. So it's just something. But anyways, that's irrelevant. Let's go ahead and take a look at the devices we have installed today. So first up, we have a System Sensor MA1224 mounted on a MP-SF surface mount plate. So these are installed in all of the hallways. Um, they're on surface run conduit, um, so they just kind of stick out almost exactly like it is on the board here. And these are set to continuous by the panel, and they are on slow whoop. So with just the one of them going here, it'll sound okay, but when... Uh, you have 13 floors of them and there's like four on each floor and they all get out of sync. It sounds both terrible and awesome at the same time. Next up we have a System Sensor Spectralert Classic S1224MC remote strobe. And to be completely honest, I think there legitimately is only one of these installed in any of those buildings. Uh, I think it's also the only strobe that's installed in any of those buildings. So uh, I guess for once in a simulation video this is pretty realistic because uh, there's only one of them. For the pull stations today, we have two different versions of the Notifier BNG1. Over on the left hand side, we have the older generation, which is installed in the two main 13 story buildings. And then over on the right hand side, we have the newer version of the BNG1, which is installed in the newer uh, 1990s edition on one of the buildings. In reality, um, the newer pull stations are silver also, like the older ones, but I don't have any of those around. There's also a couple. Uh, BG-10s scattered around. I'm not sure if they were replacements or if they were just installed new with that building. But anyways, um, when I was putting these pull stations up, I was a little bit disappointed that I only kept um, one of those System Sensor MPSF uh, mounting plates that I used on the horn up there uh, in my collection. I have about five or six of them, but the rest of them are actually up in my uh, room at school with all my other eBay inventory. Um, so I don't have them here, but in reality in these buildings, these pole stations are mounted on those uh, 4x4 box mounting plates for the horns, and it really looks rather pitiful. I'll probably throw in a video or a uh, throw in a picture when I go to edit this video of what it looks like. But uh, I figured since I only had one here, I'd rather put it up on the horn and actually make that look nice instead of trying to make a joke out of the pole stations. But uh, if I had the plates here, I'd definitely mount these pole stations up on them uh, just like they are to kind of poke fun at whoever installed that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the test. So we're going to start things off by pulling the older BNG1.
So now I got the panel and the keypad silenced, and yes, that is incredibly loud. But it also sounds pretty cool. So let's go ahead and activate the newer station now. And here we go. And I was just kidding, of course, at the last one I activated that with the, uh, the key switch off camera, but they do have their fair share of popcorn-related incidents, so I thought it'd be funny to throw in the video. Anyways, now we can go ahead and reset the pull stations, and then we can reset the panel. Go ahead and reset both of the stations now. These both use the, uh, the newer Notifier 17021 key. Um, I've heard that sometimes the older stations use a different version of the key, but I bought like, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 of these in an auction last year, and they all used the uh, the newer key, so I've yet to see one with the older key. Anyways, now that those are reset, we can move back over to the panel. And hopefully by now our popcorn detector has reset so that we can clear all the alarms on here. And because of how bright it is in here right now, you can't really see the uh, keypad, so we're going to go ahead and reset the DMP system with the uh, key switch again today. And that's the wrong key. There we go. And you'll see there's a persistent trouble condition on the DMP system because I don't have the uh, Ansel Auto Pulse powered up today. So that's all the system test content I had planned for today. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I haven't asked for these in a while, but if any of you have any requests for future system tests or just future videos in general, um, please leave them in the comments. As springtime comes around, um, I'm going to have a lot more time to do these videos and um, make system tests with some more interesting devices so um, we'll see how it goes um, I'm gonna try to get back to doing some more system tests with uh, electromechanical horns those are honestly a little bit stressful to set up because uh, with the newer panel like uh, if I get a new mechanical horn I I honestly don't know how this panel will react to it um, with electronic horns, it's always fine. It likes those, but uh, sometimes, well, with the exception of the, the Federal Signal 4050E, it didn't like that. Um, but usually, electrical or uh, electronic horns and strobes are are pretty safe bet. But um, with mechanical horns, it can be kind of a uh, a surprise to see how the panel uh, reacts to it. So I'm thinking. Uh, I might do some Edwards mechanical horns. Um, those might be iffy because of uh, the pretty sizable electromagnet on those. I'm not sure if they're going to throw some spikes back onto the line, but um, usually the panel handles them fine. Even if it doesn't like it, it just shuts the knack back down and says uh, no can do. But anyways, uh, we'll see in future system tests coming up. So again, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.